All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barshim Shai. The highest value male there is. <clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kapadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful that God that pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim out shot pushing and get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopeful that the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim out shot And what I want to get into, okay, today, you know, is dealing with, all right, the prophecy okay quick news and prophecy which this is the overtone of the ministry is prophecy okay and one thing about it is we stay in tune with the prophecy it keeps us in a certain mind frame keeps us in the mindset of being or having urgency okay and the mindset of you know hoping all right for something beyond this current society this current wicked kingdom okay and one thing about it, Bible prophecy is undisputed. So I read this and expound. You know, I got a few articles. Okay, the quick news and prophecy. All right, just touch a few points and just emphasize on prophecy, man. Okay, this is Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, seek you out of the book of the Lord, Yahweh, and read. All right, which is the Bible. All right, none of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. So the Bible, you know, contains... Okay, the uh, pretty much the commentary of the, the, the narrative that's being carried out in the earth. You know, that's why a understanding of prophecy, okay, is going to be our stability in these times. Because we understand that these things must be. The masses, okay, e even in prophecy it says that men, okay, matter of fact, let's just get it. You know, let's just flow in the spirit, let's get it. This is um, Luke 21, okay? And this is Yahweh Shai, you know, going deep in the prophecy, okay? In which we will come back, you know, to this chapter. But I want to get this point, all right? This is um, Luke 21 and 25, you know, because as, you know, the headline of prophecy is the return of Yahweh Shai, you know, as you see, you know, the return of the Messiah is the title of these precepts. And that's the headline of prophecy. Okay, this is what we await. Okay, beyond everything that's, you know, spoken of to happen. Okay, the karagma. Okay, uh, famine. You know, uh, uh, you know, great uproars and, you know, things hitting the fan. You know, one of the main things. Okay, the main thing, you know, that we await is the return of Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, so that's the beginning beginning of Israel's eternal rulership, beginning with the remnant under Yahweh Shai. Now you read uh, Luke 21 and 25, and there shall be signs in the moon, and then this like, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon, okay, and in the stars, and upon earth to stress of nations. And see, we've seen these blood moons, okay, blue moons, eclipse, okay. All these different things, man. All right, crazy weather. Whether Esau eat them, you know, is, is engineering, you know, different things with the weather. Guess what? The Lord, all right, ordained that man to ha ordain Esau to have, you know, their power to do that to fulfill prophecy, man. Okay, and it says, and upon earth the stress of nations, all right, with perplexity, the seas and waves roaring. You see, the 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 the, the the circumstances are in the earth, man, for complete chaos and upheaval to just, <laughs> you know, consume the earth. You know, and everyone's in distress. You have these different coups, uh, all these different nations. You got African nations, you know, bucking up. You know, Hawaii bucking up. You know, every, everyone is bucking up against this government, man. Okay? the, the <laughs> You know, the scriptures say 
the, 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 the hand of the wicked or the laborers, okay, will be against this man the closer he gets, you know, to his NWO. Okay, so we coming to the part where everything is going to work against this devil. All right. But before that happens, he's going to go on his last run of terror. All right. Now, verse 26 says, men's hearts fell in them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, which is prophecy. And why their hearts are going to be failing them, man, because they can't conceive these things happening. You see, that's why when we stay in the spirit of prophecy, we're pretty much, you know, uh, uh, rehearsing for the future, man. Okay, preparing our minds for what's to be the reality that's going to settle in the earth, man. Okay, this is this is this this is the the, the, the reason why, you know, the Lord emphasizes prophecy, man. Okay, because people are, are, are about to stroke out, just seeing the times that we and just you know existing in these times, and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is not on you. All right. Yeah, he's going to overwhelm you, man. You know, and we pray we stay in the spirit that the Lord keeps us in these times, man. All right. It says men's hearts, back in Luke 21, 26, men's hearts fell in them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Okay. From, from the elites. Okay. On down. All right, to the average man, the Lord is finna terrorize the earth, man. You know, he's gonna let Esau, you know, get off, you know, and and, 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 and you know, push his agenda, okay? It's finna get real draconian, all right? And then and, and we finna see, you know, Esau be a madman, all right? But ultimately, the most high is gonna show that he is, and even Esau is gonna be terrified of the things that's happening, man, from the elites. To the common man. Alright. So. Let's just finish this here. In the book of Isaiah. 34. Isaiah 34 and 16. It says. Seek you out of the book of the Lord. And read. None. None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. Yeah. There's no other book. You know. That you can compare. Okay. With the Bible. Okay. And no other book is speaking. Okay. Okay. We don't know any, we don't know any, uh, uh, you know, chapter in, in, in scripture of the Quran. Okay. The book of the dead. Okay. We don't, we don't know, you know, uh, Buddha, Hindu, like none of those things are speaking. All these religions and beliefs that people have, but none of these things are speaking. And anybody that's, that, that tries, you know, cause you watch a lot of alternative news and, Everyone has to revert back to the Bible. Okay. You know, some of them be on point, you know, with, 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 you know, make a point or two, but then eventually they always go way left. Okay. But the fact is they always got to revert back to the Bible. Everyone tries to put the Bible on trial, but guess what? The Bible is undisputed. Every, all the prophecies spoken of either they, they have happened. They're getting ready to happen. Okay. <laughs> That's how it works. And it's happening presently. Uh, just us knowing we Israelites as prophecy speaking. Okay? Standing out on the highways and byways teaching. That's, 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 that's prophecy speaking. Okay? Us in America. In captivity. That's prophecy speaking, man. Okay? Scoffers. You know? Jake waxing worse and worse. They know that they're Israelites. All these is prophecy speaking. All right, and the two major prophecies that we await is the, is, is, is the Karagma and World War Three, okay, which is going to bring on the famines, okay, the uh, the violence, all right, and more uproars, man. So let's go here. I want to get this article, okay. Now the the title, all right, of this article is uh. It says the next crisis is anyone's guess, but the government is ready, all right, to lock down the nation. See, all the all the pieces are in place. It's just a thing of when. It ain't if, it's when. Okay, and we don't know exactly how they're going to run this next one because we know the first 
okay, situation, you know, was a trial run, okay? But we believe in the spirit that this next one, <laughs> he's going to go all the way in, man, okay? Now, when you read, uh, let's read this, it says, the whole aim of practical politics is to keep the populace alarmed and hence clamorous, all right, uh, to be led to safety. Yeah, because when you're in fear, okay, you you, you you can't think, you know, when you're moving in fear, all right, and that's why there's always a boogeyman, there's always some type of psyops, there's always some, you know, something alarming that, that, that you have to be aware of, you know, always, you know, death, you could die, you can die, you know, death, you know, you know, it's always something, all right? And it keeps the masses, you know, in, in the state of fear, okay? And looking for, you know, um, some type of leadership to get back to normalcy, man, okay? It says, um, the whole aim of practical politics is to keep the populace alarmed and hence clamorous to be led to safety by an endless series of hobgoblins, okay? Most of them imaginary. And there's a quote from H.L. Mackin. Now, just real quick, um, let's get that. Okay. When you go to, um, let's see, control, By fear. All right, it says individuals, okay, looking to take advantage of and manipulate others have long realized the power of fear. When one is gripped by fear of threat, real or imagined, their rational and higher conscience. Uh, uh, Cognitive so like it, capacity shut down, making them easily manipulated by anyone that promises safety from the threat. And this is the atmosphere, okay, order out of chaos. Okay, this this is the atmosphere that finna be established. All right, it's finna uh, be brought forth in the earth on a level that earth has never seen. Because scriptures say what it's gonna be the worst time. Okay, let's get it. All right, let the scripture speak. This is Matthew 24 and 21. It said, For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. Okay, so this is the worst time ever. Okay, and people are going to be begging for a solution. If you how about Shema I was shy. All right, if, if the Lord doesn't have you covered in this time, okay, you're going to fold to what's going to happen, man. And that's why we pray that we're covered. This is why we're fighting. We're fighting for the Lord's mercy in the time of chaos, man. Okay, this is why we're enduring because we have to endure first before we get to the promises, man. Okay, before we get to be joint heirs and, you know, <laughs> Kings and, and, and priests and princesses. Before we get to that, we got to endure. Okay? Because, <laughs> hey, we finna see people. Because people are already psychotic when you get here. All right? This is um Matthew 24 and 12. It says, and because iniquity shall abound. Yeah, sin. Okay? Okay? As it says in Matthew 24 and 12 in the NLT. It says, sin will be rampant everywhere. Okay, and this is what we're seeing. They're normalizing all manner of sin. Okay? Right, righteousness is a joke. Sin, sin is the end thing in this society, man. All right? And that atmosphere says so what? The love of many shall wax cold. Okay? And you go into this word cold, which wax, you know, means to grow. Okay? Um... But well, yep, you got the word in the Greek, psycho, psycho. Okay, psycho, man. 
All right. And people are already on edge. You know, everyone's in a rush. Everyone, you know, in traffic. You know, everybody in traffic. You know, you really got to be mindful. You know, because I'm in traffic a lot now. And I'm just seeing how people move. Everybody's on edge, man. <laughs> okay. Like, everybody is, is at that tipping point. You can tell. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's why, you know, as we're out, man. Hey, there's a lot of times where, hey, you got to let these folks have it, man. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you know, move move wisely, man, in these times. Because these people are, are, are bugging out. Okay? And these people are going psycho, man. Now, let's go here. Alright, because a lot of you going to fear, it takes away your rational thinking. You get desperate. You know, when you're in fear, you get extremely desperate. Okay, you do things you wouldn't normally do. Okay? Now, alright, so he goes into these events, as you can see. You know, first came, alright, the incident with the towers. Okay? And the government used... All right, which the government used to transform itself into a police state. Okay, then you had the the the, the, the C. <laughs> All right, Uno Nina. <laughs> okay, you had this situation happening in 2020. Okay, now when you go here, it says in light of the government's tendency to exploit crises, uh, legitimate or manufactured. And capitalize on the nation's heightened emotions, confusion, and fear as a means of extending the reach of the police state. One has to wonder what so-called crisis it will declare next. So you go here. Okay, because it spoke about confusion. And the scriptures speak about, okay, confusion. All right, increasing in the earth. You know, because the devil has a lot of madness up his sleeves, man. Okay, and he's going to move quick, man. All right. It says, 2nd Edward 16 and 21, it says, Behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon earth. All right, I think um, I heard a brother say Wendy's had like a a, 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 a burger for like a, a penny, you know? Let me see if we can find it. Wendy's. Okay, yep. Let me pop it up. All right. It says Wendy's announced that they will be selling a junior bacon cheeseburger for just one cent in September. Okay. <laughs> well, that's great. You know, we can't even speak on, you know, the food. They get, they get real sensitive when you speak on they, uh, on their food. All right. But look at this madness, man. Victual shall be so good cheap up on earth. Let's see. Give it a play. Introducing Platinum Status, where you save 10 cents per gallon on every fill and get the chance to win VIP experiences and rewards. Just fill up at Shell 12 times in three months with any fuel grade or six times with Shell V Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline. Texas Tyler ordered 31 cheeseburger. Mom has no clue. You see this? And these same people are finna starve, man. <laughs> hey, the Lord, hey, he, he knows how to set up the plot. Okay? In his movie. 31 goddamn cheeseburger. Tripping. Okay? He said, looking to sink your teeth into a Age few. comes with wisdom. And wisdom comes with benefits. Dryer's broken. Okay. It's a lot. You want a socket? That's especially. All right. So it says, looking to sink your teeth into a few cheap and delicious burgers in the coming days. McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, and other fast food chains are offering incredible deals for National Cheeseburger Day. On Monday, September the 18th. You know, I wish that was today. 
<laughs> oh boy. All right, Wendy has now announced that they will be selling this famous Junior Cheeseburger for just one cent. Although customers order another item through the Wendy's app to take advantage of the deal. Okay, so yeah, man, you got these things going on. Okay, Burger King, Burger Fi, all right, uh, McDonald's. Okay, which hey, if we if we gotta tell you about that, man, you gotta catch up. You know, but we can't speak much on it because they. They go crazy about, <laughs> you know, they little merchandise. All right. But yeah, man. So it's showing you what prophecy is, 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 is <laughs> you know, reigning supreme. Second Ezra 16 and 21 said, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Sword, famine, and great confusion, man. So as people, all right, are feasting, okay, on, on, on cheap victuals, okay, it's football season, you know, drunk, you know, uh, you know, hollering at the TV, you know, <laughs> shaking, you know, you know, on your tippy toes, you know, all in front of the TV, you see. Guess what? Prophecy is still unfolding. There, there's still great evils that's growing upon the earth. All right, and, and, the, and the Lord has a spirit on these devils to orchestrate these things, man. <laughs> you see? So this is another example that prophecy is reigning supreme. Okay? So let's go back here. It says, frankly, back in the article, it says, frankly, it doesn't even matter what the nature of the next national emergency might be. Okay? Terrorism, civil unrest, economic collapse. Okay, a health scare or the environment, as long as it allows the government, okay, to, to, to clamp down the nation and justify all manner of tyranny in the so called name of national security. Okay, and how do you deal with going to play it? Because we know with the health care, they push the juice and see if they do the economic, we know that's going to be the sea hill if the, if the, if the if the dollar collapsed, the only way to revise that is going to be the, the the digital currency, all right, which is going to be uh, uh, ran through what what device, okay, the C hip, okay. So we, we we know they 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 we know they play with the health, okay, to spread the juice, okay, which is to uh, delete as many people as possible. All right, and they told you that agenda, and if we play, if we play it, you know, he, we just playing what they. If we just play what they said, you know, we'll get a strike. Okay, so then you go to uh, the economic. You know, if it's an economic collapse, all right, we know, all right, that that that, that hey, the only way to, to revive an economic collapse because if the dollar crashes, that's the global currency crash. Okay, and the only way you're going to be revived is through the Karagma. All right, so the, the, everything is set up. All right, everything is set up. All the pieces are being put in place, you know, for it to go down. Now, let's go here. All right, this nigga. Um. All right, and while this is happening, remember the Karagma in World War Three. Okay, with the Karagma is going to come first before, you know, World War Three really breaks out. You know, you might have a few skirmishes here and there, you know, a bombing, you know, a general might get, you know, put on a T-shirt. <laughs> okay, but, 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 uh, uh, the true, okay, uh, fighting, the true war, it would be after the Karagma. But we see both of them, okay, all the pieces are being put in place simultaneously man all right so it said nato prepares for biggest military exercise since cold war and close to russia okay and the nato was formed to be what man okay to be a defense against any you know a uh, 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 russia invasion okay or any you know russian military against all right europe all right, and mainly, you know, the West, you know, mainly Europe, because Europe is, you know, right there. Okay, 
<laughs> they, they on the border. All right. So it says. And we know Russia, which is Gog and Magog, or the Medes, they play a major part in prophecy, man. Okay? It says the upcoming steadfast defending NATO war drill set for early 2024 are expected to be the biggest military exercise in Europe since the end of the Cold War. The Financial Times is reporting Monday. At a moment that war in Ukraine grows more and more unpredictable, Given neither Russia nor the West have shown any signs of bagging down, the FT writes that NATO is preparing its biggest live joint command exercise since the Cold War next year, assembling more than 40,000 troops to practice how the alliance would attempt to repel Russian aggression against one of its members. Yeah, and, and the prophecy is already set for Russia is going to be brought forth. Okay, Ezekiel 38. Okay, so they're, they're, they're doing drills for Ezekiel 38. Prophecy, okay, <laughs> is, is, is speaking. That's the headlines, is prophecy, man. Everything else, you know, uh, 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 you know, what, what are niggas into? Okay, uh, Charleston White, all right, <laughs> you know, that nigga, you know, he's the character. All right, we're just throwing examples out. What niggas into Charleston White? Okay, goddamn, uh, 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 uh NBA young boy and little dirt. Okay, uh, you know, just madness. Like, see, niggas are into those things, man. Sexy red. Okay, yeah, you know, that's that's the, the nigga headlines, man. Okay, but now nah, prophecy, all right, is is, is speaking, man. So let's go on. Oh yeah, Ezekiel. Yep, Ezekiel thirty-eight. And, and you know, and Esau always tries to um, call himself, you know, one up in prophecy. But nah, you can't one up prophecy. You can only play your role in prophecy. Okay, because it's it's in prophecy for you to try to do the one up. Okay, <clears throat> Ezekiel thirty-eight and one. It says, "And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man." Set thy face against God, the land of Magog, which is Russia, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. Because the Lord is against Russia as well. But Russia is just being used as a tool in prophecy, man. Okay? And say, thus said the Lord power, behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach, Meshach, and, Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and will bring thee forth. And all thy army. And that's going to be Russia invading Europe, man. Russia is going to invade Europe. They're going to come forth. Ukraine is just the beginning. Okay? It says horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, which is military hardware, tanks. Okay? Helicopters, fighter jets, Navy vessels, submarines. Okay? Even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. And Russia is becoming, you know, one of the, the um, top arms deals. Okay. The top nation that's doing arm deals in the earth. Okay. And all those nations in that region are pretty much, you know, being backed by Russia. Okay. As the scriptures say, well, Russia, the, the role... That it has Russia playing the scripture, Russia is playing that role. Persia, which is Iran, Ethiopia and Libya, okay, which is the uh, those northern African countries. All right, this whole thing with um, uh, you know these African, all right, nations pretty much um rebelling against you know these Western puppet leaders. Okay, who 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 are these? Nations turning to Russia. Russia, you know, say they got free, you know, pretty much free uh, wheat, you know, free food. Okay. They, they're offering them nations resources. All right. They're being the guard. It says all of them with shield and helmet. Okay. It was the way every, everybody's Russia making sure everybody's scrapped up. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Russia's role. Okay, 
It says Go Gomar and all his bands, the house of Togomar in the north quarters and all his bands and many people with thee, okay, which is going to Turkey, all right, which Russia, Iran, and Turkey, all right, they've done joint military drills, okay? They, 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 they're, they're in discussion. They, they have trade agreements, okay? They, they are aligned over there in their region, man, okay? It said, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company, that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Okay? So Russia is, is playing their role to a T. Alright? And you have NATO getting ready to do these drills. Okay? To combat that, man. Alright? Well, we know prophecy is going to prevail. It says, it says like with the ongoing smaller northern coast back in the article. War games currently being executed by NATO in Baltic waters. The steadfast Defender 24 drills will simulate how the military alliance will respond in the face of a hypothetical Russian invasion. Okay, and it's going to go from hypothetical to reality. All right, Russia going to come forth and their allies, man. Okay, it said NATO officials were quoted in FT as saying, the planned exercise are seen as a key part of demonstrating to Moscow that the alliance is prepared to fight. Okay? <laughs> you see? These are war drums, man. It says steadfast. It says a steadfast defender is slated to run February and March and is likely to be seen as a provocation by Moscow, given it will take place in the various uh locals across germany poland and the baltic states the latter which border russia according to uh, according to more according to more from ft report detailing the upcoming gigantic war game and it's gonna go from a war game to actual war all right let's get that according to prophecy man okay let's get this according to prophecy man jeremiah 50 is it 51 i believe all right and um 46 okay and this is what you have a shot you know when he spoke about nation against nation he was speaking in these times man when he spoke about rumors of wars he was he was going into this prophecy jeremiah 51 and 46 and least your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land a rumor shall both come one year and the rumor is a circulating story so we hear all these different circulating stories and speculations about what war so we hearing these year by year they are already speaking about 2024 okay and 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 and, and, the, and the, you know these these big war games with the nato so they're, they're speaking of these rumors year by year these circulating stories and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land, ruler against ruler, is going to eventually turn into a real fight, man. There ain't going to be drills, man. Okay, it's going to turn into live action, what they call a hot war. Okay? And this is what Yahweh Shah was speaking on, man. Yahweh Shah was speaking in prophecy. Matthew 24 and 6, it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. You see, Yahweh Shai was going into Jeremiah. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Because you're going to hear these rumors of wars year after year. Okay? But there's still things that have to play out. There's still things being put in place, man. Okay? <laughs> all the pieces are being put in place, man. So when that first domino hit... It's going to lead all the way. It's going to knock the rest of the dominoes down, leading up to your house shot. Okay? So let's go from there. Let's get um, um, Oh, yeah, I got this. Because while that's happening, you know, that's scheduled for next year. You have this, you know, happening in Taiwan. Okay? Not too long ago. All right, so let's play this. 
has sounded alarm bells about heightened military activity by China. The defense minister, now Taiwan's defense ministry has sounded alarm bells about heightened military activity by China. The defense ministry said that it had detected at least 103 Chinese warplanes around the island in a 24-hour period. The Taiwanese Defense Ministry called on China to immediately stop such destructive unilateral actions, further warning that such activities would only further escalate cross-strait tensions and destabilize security in the region. According to the Taiwanese Defense Ministry, out of the 103 PLA aircraft, at least 40 of them crossed the de facto median line in the Taiwan Strait. The aircraft then entered the island's air defense identification zone in the southwest and southeast. At least 10 Sukhoi 30 aircraft, nearly 12 J-10 aircraft and around 4 J-11 aircraft and over 10 J-16 fighter jets along with two Y-20 aerial refueling planes and two KJ-500 aircraft were spotted among the 40 sorties. The Taiwanese Defense Ministry further added that at least nine PLA warplanes were also spotted near the island. The ministry said that it had closely monitored the situation and tasked warplanes and naval ships as well as land-based missile systems to respond to the heightened activity. Since the U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to the island in August last year, Beijing has intensified military operations around Taiwan. China has sought to isolate Taiwan diplomatically by pressuring other countries not to officially recognize it as a separate country. Most nations in the world follow the One China policy and do not formally recognize Taiwan as a country. However, many nations maintain unofficial relations with Taiwan and engage in trade, cultural and economic exchanges. So yeah, man, you have China, you know, pretty much they're hiding their activity <clears throat> over there in Taiwan because they know, all right, that America, first America, all right, is only interested in the resources and the geographical location, okay, of Taiwan. Okay, they don't care, all right, about those people in Taiwan, okay? Taiwan is nothing but a, a military and the economic strategy of America, okay? Because, I say, whenever you see America get interested into, you know, when they have affairs with these countries, it's about the resources, man, all right? And I think Taiwan is uh, rich in those semiconductors, which those semiconductors are, you know, um, the backbone of American military hardware. Okay. Taiwan Semiconductor. Okay. Yeah. So you see Taiwan. Okay. is a major player. It says only the top five semiconductor companies in Taiwan generate revenue over oh, 100 billion, according to figures in 21 compiled. And Let's see. All right. So you have TSMC, the, the giant of Taiwanese semiconductor manufacturing. He said the world's biggest manufacturer of semiconductors. Okay. TSMC is one of the 10 largest companies in the world. And these semiconductors. All right. The power of Taiwan's chip industry. Okay. And Apostle Hart went into that. You know, he went into the, you know, Russia, you know, um, securing Ukraine and China securing, um, Taiwan, that will be a major, major military move and, 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 and give Russia and China a lot of advantage over the West, man. Okay? So, these things are unfolding real time as we speak. All right? Major prophecy, man. We can never get so caught up, you know, in, 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 in 
you know, the podcast culture of America, you know, all these debates and this and that and, you know, pretty much meaningless things. We go into things, you know, as, as it, you know, presents an opportunity to edify, all right? But we don't get engulfed in these things, all right? This is what we're on, okay? Jeremiah 50 and... And, um... Yep, this is Jeremiah 50 and... All right, I started uh, Jeremiah 15, 21. It says, go up against the land of Marathon, even against it, and against the inhabitants of Peacock, waste and utterly destroy after them, said the Lord, and do according to all that I have commanded thee. Yeah, and this war is leading to the complete annihilation of America, man. And you go here, all right, and the Hebrew word is uh, Marath, uh, Marath. Thayum, Marathayum, okay, which means what? Double rebellion, okay? And you can see that America, all right, is is, is, is in great rebellion against Yahweh by Shema al -Shai. That's why it's known as the mother harlot, okay, which is the, the source, the motherland of wickedness in the earth, okay? Marathayum, okay? And then you go get this um, word, um, Pekat, all right, Pekat in the Hebrew, Pekat, yeah, Pekat, all right, Pekat, yeah, Pekat, and it means visitation. So there's a visitation for this double rebellion, all right, which is <laughs> America, man, okay, and it says. And do according to all that I have commanded. You see, everybody is moving to the commands of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Russia is doing what it's doing because it's commanded. Okay, brothers teaching. Okay, <laughs> and edifying is, is, is based off a commandment. Who have resisted his will? False prophets, they can't. You know, that's why, you know, we just got to pray to stay within the Lord's mercy, man. Because everyone is doing what the Lord is commanded. Okay? Jake does, you know, to the gimmicks and, you know, the, the, the crazy bugged out doctrines. They, they're doing what, what, what they're commanded to do. Okay? It says a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction, man. So we're in these times, man. Okay? We're in these times, man. The war drums are beating. Okay? The, 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 neck, the stage is being set for the next... You know, uh, 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 clamp downs, okay? Economic collapse, uh, 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 you know, another, you know, <laughs> sickness, okay? All these things are being prepared. And it's all according to the will of Yahweh by Shema al Shah. So I end here. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, okay? This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 1 it says, I will stand upon my watch. And set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Okay, so we're on our watch. And as we see these things happening, that's the Lord speaking to his men through through current events. Okay, through prophecy happening in real time. That's how the Lord speaks, okay, to his men. Okay, and as we see these things, we report that the Lord speak, you know, unto his men. All right, his men speaking to the church. Okay, and it's mainly through what we see happening in real time. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it there. So when our forefathers, you know, uh, wrote these things, had these things scribed, had these visions, you know, the Lord, okay, um, had them to explain it. In the best way they could according to you know the technology of their time okay and now that we have you know complete understanding we can run you know because when you have a message you got to run with it in the ancient world you know you had to run with the message that's where you get the whole thing from a relay you know handing off the baton well that's how they would hand off messages man okay 
one one person will run a certain distance okay and they will meet you know what they call the next leg or the relay and they was run those messages man and this is what we're doing <laughs> okay hey we, we, we're running with this message man okay it said for the vision is yet for the point in time but at the end it shall speak and not lie all right so it's a time appointed for everything to be fulfilled you know that's why it says in, in, in patience possess ye your souls okay so we have to endure as the as until the appointed time okay it said though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry okay you read in nlt habakkuk 2 and 3 it says this vision for a future time it describes the end and it will be fulfilled if it seems slow in coming wait patiently for it will surely take place it will not be delayed okay and we have to hold fast to these things hold fast to this belief okay because it seems like it's being drawn out you know like i say the the the, 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 the hustle and bustle of america is still on the, on the go you know people are suffering but then you see you know you still see people you know pretty much just <laughs> living la vida loca okay <laughs> Well, it's going to come a time when hey, this place has an appointment, okay, with prophecy, man. A major appointment with prophecy, man. So that's the point. You know, just want to get that out, Lord Will. All right, you brothers. And if you so, so edified to the next time I say shalom.